the Saho Kubel Chronicles. Hello and welcome. I am Jarani Tasfai and this is News Analytica. A surge in anti-French sentiments and a string of military coups is revamping alliances and forging a new diplomatic and political paths for former French colonies in the Saho region of West Africa. The region, once considered France's colonial backyard, is now ominously labeled the coup belt. Late August witnessed the latest coup as Gabon joined the list of nations, including Niger, Guinea, Burkina Faso, Mali, and Chad, where the military seized power. But what followed these coups is equally significant. In the aftermath, many of these countries have taken significant steps that included severing their relations with France. Earlier this month, France withdrew its last troops from Niger. It also pulled out its soldiers from Mali and Burkina Faso. Adding to the complexity, this week, Niger suspended all cooperation with the International Organization of Francophone Nations, the OIF. The OIF has always been used by France as an instrument to defend French interests, said a spokesperson for Niger's ruling junta. This decision raises questions about the role of international organizations in the face of evolving political dynamics. In this episode, we look at the layers of this complex issue and explore the roots and repercussions of this trend in Francophone Africa. The OIF had already suspended most cooperation with Niger last week because of the coup. The 88-member organization, originally known as the Agence de Cooperation Cultural et Technique, was established in 1970, aiming to foster cooperation among French-speaking nations in cultural, political, and economic domains. Over time, it expanded to include countries with little linguistic connection to French, such as Bulgaria and Qatar. Traditionally, the primary financial contributors to the OIF were France and Canada. Unlike most international organizations, OIF membership extends beyond countries to include regional governments like New Brunswick and Quebec in Canada and the French community of Belgium. The OIF maintains a substantial presence at key international bodies like the AU, UNECA, and the UN itself, further magnifying the potential impact on countries like Niger. However, rejecting the OIF is just one facet of a much larger issue. Historically, France, like other colonial powers, has played a significant role in the African economy. Former French President Jacques Chirac once remarked that without Africa, France would slide into the rank of a third world power. But despite the end of colonization, France's significant influence in the financial and economic sectors of its former colonies persists. A stark illustration of this influence through the CFA franc in the central banks of Western and Central African nations is a treaty signed with France that forces them to deposit 50% of their foreign exchange in an operating account at the Bank of France. Moreover, the CFA franc used by these countries is pegged to the euro and backed by France. Critics say condemn the pegging of the currency, saying it has made export commodities expensive and thus uncompetitive, keeping the people in a cycle of poverty. There are also reports that these former, the central banks of these colonies, face overwhelming obstacles in their efforts to reclaim these funds, their own money, from Paris. The different factors involved in the relationship between former French colonies and Paris and the economic dependency and growing anger over feelings of perpetual exploitation by France have fueled the desire to reconsider the relationship with Paris. Since 1990, 21 out of the 27 coups in West Africa have taken place in Francophone states. Niger's recent actions, including the suspension of cooperation with OIA, are viewed by analysts as instrumental in achieving political and economic independence. Negative sentiments toward France have already been widespread on social media prior to the coups in West Africa. The failure to address this discontent, driven by what analysts term as the underestimation of negative public sentiment, has now positioned France at an awkward position. That is all for today. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more content on critical global issues. <laughs>